Hello Kickstarter, my name is JD Snurf, one of the co-founders of Judgment Entertainment. For the past year we've been working on an iOS game called Mouse in the House. Currently we're expecting a release in the first quarter of 2014. Upon the successful release of the game we plan to continuously update it until it's a polished gem, while also moving on to other projects such as new games and establishing our headquarters here in our area, bringing new jobs to our community. Before we show off the game, I'd like to take the time to thank you for viewing our video and supporting our efforts. Thank you. Mouse in the House takes the player through five different rooms of the main character's home. And as you can see, the floor of each room is a grid. This is where all of the player interaction will take place. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll notice eight buttons. These buttons represent the traps and items that the user has at their disposal. The bottom three of these buttons are equipment slots. Throughout the game, the player will unlock these equipment slots, which gives the player the freedom to better tailor the game to fit their playstyle. Above the grid to the right is the cheese counter. The player uses cheese to activate traps, launching mice from the screen. It also represents their life. Every time a mouse crosses the grid, they'll lose a cheese. When a player's cheese reaches zero, they will lose the level. The counter on the top left of the screen works in conjunction with the meter on the bottom. The counter shows the numerical data of the player's current score, while the meter on the bottom shows how close the player is to achieving a star in the level. Now let's move on to gameplay. Before we do, we apologize for any lag spikes that you may notice. This is due to our recording software, and we assure you that our game plays very smoothly on the iOS devices. The creature walking onto the screen now is the regular mouse. This is the standard infantry of the mouse army, and he walks in a straight line from one side of the room to the other. By making use of the single trap, I can easily launch one mouse from the screen, increasing my score multiplier and increasing my score. However, you'll notice that I've lost cheese. By trapping mice in twos or threes with the use of the triple traps, you'll gain cheese and you'll gain score. By using the vertical trap and tapping in the middle cell, I was able to launch those two mice from the screen and increase my cheese, allowing me to trap more mice throughout the level. The other triple trap is the horizontal trap, which gives the player the option to trap multiple mice that are lined up horizontally. The mice that are arriving on the screen now are separated by a space. The cheese trap allows the player to place a piece of cheese on the grid, which a mouse will then stop to eat, allowing the other mice behind him to catch up, or if they're in the same lane, it will force them to stop and wait while he consumes the cheese. This is the stealth mouse. When he initially appears, he announces himself before vanishing again. By laying a piece of cheese ahead of the stealth mouse, the player can force him to appear or the player can equip one of the items from the store, which is the oil spill, and if stepped on by a stealth mouse, his footprints will become visible, making it much easier to trap this mouse. This is a swift mouse. He rockets across the screen at double the speed of the other mice. This guy has no time to stop for cheese, and will only stop if another mouse blocks his path. In addition, he'll also fly under any mouse that is in the air. This character is the teleporting mouse. He randomly picks cells to teleport to. Upon arrival, he dabbles with his teleporting device and teleports again. By using cheese, you can stop him, allowing other mice to position around him before launching him from the screen. The aviator mouse flies on a hand glider. While he's in the air, he can't be trapped. And as you'll see, a swift mouse can easily go underneath him. By making use of the fan trap, you can blow away the hang glider, forcing the aviator mouse to parachute to the ground. 
allowing him to be trapped. Behind the regular mouse is the moon mouse. One of the mechanics of the moon mouse is that he will jump spaces. If you use cheese on a mouse in front of him, he will jump over that mouse, making it difficult to line him up with other mice. Some of the mice and mouse in the house will drop diamonds. Diamonds are used in Sniper Store to purchase items that can be placed in the equipment slots that can give the player a passive bonus or access to a unique active ability. If the player is in a rush to get an item, they can purchase diamonds through our in-app offers. Mouse and House also includes features such as Facebook sharing and Game Center leaderboards. At the end of each level, you have the option to share your score with all of your friends on Facebook. And Game Center also allows us to rank players based upon their scores in each level. Thank you for viewing our video and supporting our efforts. With your continued support, we'll be able to successfully release the game and continue on to other projects and bring unique experiences to the iOS community. Cut. Nailed it!